Hey up peeps, I am Moobid from Team Reflector and it's been a while since I've done a boat review but I couldn't pass this off just after the amazing reception you guys over on TFYTC and Transforms and such and all that. Hi guys, um, today we're reviewing this. <laughs> it is the KO of a KO of a KO of a KO. It is the Legend Scale. Autopoto huge extremely! Uh, I think. <laughs> it, it's Fort Max. It's a tiny Fort Max. And um, yeah, I, the story is like, I saw this thing and ordered it drunk as a skunk, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Uh, and it was like £1.50, I think, on Wish. It's since disappeared and I've since written it off because I, I, I ordered this, I don't know, it was out in January or like December last year. That's how long ago. And it literally just arrived the day you're watching this, the day before, in fact, you, that you're watching this video, editing and future call and all that. Um, and this is dedication for you, because if we switch to the to reverse cameras, you say this is dedication, you see, I've actually gone out and bought <laughs> a new backdrop, a, a 20 pound um, blackout blind. So so th this thing, this thing right here, didn't cost £1.50, it cost £21.50. So, you know, you, be you better like and subscribe and all that, because See, that's dedication to the cause right there, let's face it. So, let's get this thing opened. I'm going to be as live as I can. Um, it's probably going to disintegrate the second I expose it to the air because, uh, yeah, it's, it, 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 it was wrapped in one thin layer of bubble wrap with my address just stuck to it with a sticker. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not holding out hope but if this turns out to be like half decent and it'll just stay in a pose and never be touched again he's gonna be my new despot so let's do this thing <laughs> so this is huge extremely the KO of the KO of the KO of the KO of a sort of legend scale Fort Max um little look at the packaging just to give you an idea what what kind of thing you get here oh we are overexposed like a mother flipper up there there we go um it there's no there's no english on there it's made in china it's it's huge extremely huge extremely um we blatantly ripped this off exclamation mark uh yeah it, as you can see it's battered but i think it just got launched <laughs> in, in like a chinese sorting office or something as i say it was literally just a piece of um, bubble wrap and that was it <laughs> so yeah I'm not holding out much hope there's some nice little product shots on here though um, of various bots I think this is the actual Fort Max on these pictures because there's no way they get tiny tiny little bots that actually transform let's just see if I can get get a picture of that for you like as you can see there they, they just there's no way in hell there is no way in hell there are actual bots that are smaller than this that actually transform i mean come on it's not going to happen is it really so uh knife this is why i can't have nice things um i tend to cut myself with knives so i'm really putting myself out there for you guys um okay let's see let's get this open and i'll show you what's inside okay um it's falling to bits in the actual packaging yay um okay let's have a look well, his <laughs> his um, his ramps have already disconnected. That's always a good sign. Um, <laughs> oh God! It weighs about two grams. Yeah. In fact, because he's so small, I think I'm going to swap to a 50 mil lens. So give me a sec. That's better. Um, okay. He's um, he's 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 very light <laughs> he's very very light he's very light he's very hollow but he does seem to have all the bits so here he is so there he is compared to my big noggin um he i've just realized the the ramps actually they peg on that's why they fell apart so i guess they go there and they go there there's no instructions so i'm gonna have to figure this out live on camera which is always a good thing 
or not, as the case may be. Okay, so this is huge, extremely opened up and in his bot mode. And he's actually, oh, he's not too much of a floppy mess, actually. I must admit. Um, yeah, I mean, the plastic, I wouldn't want to play with this too much. The plastic, I mean, it doesn't weigh anything. It's, you can probably see from the back, the legs even. It is hollow as a mofo, man. Um, but he's got his big gun on the on the leg here, like like you would on the original G1 Fort Max. He's got oh, he's even got little um, hip guns that kind of come out. Oh god, they're hollow. Crikey! Hang on, let me try and show you this. They are completely hollow and they feel very, very brittle. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. But there's even some little detailing in here. Hang on, let me see if I can... Right. There's some detail there. There's some little pistons and things moulded into it. I don't know if they were on the original... Um, uh, G1 um, toy, because I don't actually own it. In fact, I don't think I've even seen it in real life, apart from at uh, TFN and things like that. Um, but, I mean, he moves. Ooh. He moves and creaks. Um, so, articulation-wise, he's got a shoulder joint and he's got a bend at the elbow. There's a bit of resistance there. <laughs> God almighty. There's a bit of resistance there. Um, and he's got his... He's got his ramps underneath, which are very hollow and brittle, as you can see here. Um, don't think that's a 5mm peg in his hands. I think that's just a carryover from, from the original mould there. He's got his penis dial that doesn't turn, and I'm stroking it too much. Um, he's got little tiny guns. Do these come out? Yes, they do. Ooh. So he's got little tiny little leg guns. He's, got, he's basically got all the G1 stuff. I'm very surprised, and it hasn't disintegrated yet. Um, it hasn't disintegrated yet, which is always a bonus, I guess. So, could this go back back here, out, out the way? Yeah, I guess it's a part of the transformation, but... Yeah, there we go. So, that folds around like that. His leg guns can come down. So, I guess, as long as you don't really display him with the leg guns, um, he should be all right. Let's go a little bit wider. For size comparison, here he is with G1 Ironhide. With, with Siege Rumble Slash Frenzy. And with Siege Soundway, because he's precious. We love Soundway. So he's actually, so he's actually about the same size as the Siege line, as you can see there. And now for the dreaded transformation. Um, I'm nervous. <laughs> Does this even open? I've just realised it. Sorry, I didn't show that before. The the little jail cell thing opens um, on and it looks like it's about to shatter any second. Don't touch that bit! Okay, right. Let's see if we can get him into his battle station mode. Oh god, this is this is hairy, man. This is so hairy. Ah. Okay. Oh dear. Oh god, this is terrible. Right, okay, all right, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna break it. I'm totally gonna break it. <laughs> right, um, I'm gonna skip to the bit where, where it's either broken into a million pieces or um, <laughs> or it's in, it's in some resemblance of an alt mode. Many unbearable hours later. Oh god, that was painful. <laughs> right, I've brought the camera down to uh, table level now for these base modes. Um, yeah. Um, it it's it's brittle. <laughs> it's very, very brittle. Um, but there is, to be fair on it, there is a resemblance of the battle station mode. I mean, it's hollow in the middle but then i guess there was a prison cell in there wasn't there back in the day there is a problem though and that is around the back as you can see here now here's a headmaster as you know hit on there's his head um 
In fact, let's bring him closer for you. I've made a resemblance of this because his head doesn't remove, his spike head, that is. So if we take this, so the ramp should be, oh, as we all know, the ramp should be like that. Um, and his head, so his head clicks on like that, right? You take it off and underneath is a tiny spike head. He's so tiny and we, I don't even know if I can focus he's that tiny. But he's in there, look, he's in there. And he's actually, you know, he's got some detail. But it's moulded in, it doesn't move. But the ramp doesn't close over the spike head. So the way I've got around that is you basically, it's, it's on a friction mount, so you just unmount it there, click it in like that without shattering the whole thing, he says. He says confidently, and then the whole thing folds up over his head as you saw at the beginning. Um, I guess the way around that, it definitely doesn't move, move, does it? No, it doesn't move. So I guess the way around that is you just drill, I'm gonna drill a hole there, and then the ramp can go in and then go over the head that's molded in. That's the only way I can think of doing it. Um, so I'm gonna do that in a bit because I won't be able to get to actual G1 base mode because I won't be able to close the ramp. So yeah, um, but to be fair, you know, for a cheap £1.50 piece of crap, it, it, it kind of does work as a battle station mode. There is a piece of clear, I'm, I'm guessing green, perspex plasticky stuff on missing on the top there for mine um wasn't in the box it just you know it is what it is but it's fine but as you can see you you move it any which way and it's a floppy light mess but then it's cheap so what you're gonna do um i'm going to attempt now to put it into base mode which is going to be very interesting Many, 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 many unbearable hours later. By Jove, I think he's got it. Um, surprisingly, it, it transformed, kind of. <laughs> um, to give you a spin round, uh, I forgot to show you this on the robot mode, but he's, got, he's still got the arm cannons. Look, they're moulded in down there. Uh, hang on, can you see them? There they are. They're moulded in. But they kind of work as little... Blinding pads or something for the base mode, I suppose. Uh, now, my copy, I, mean, I know on the original they're supposed to have, there's even got the um, the actual friction hinge there for little, uh, you know, little ramps and things, but they're, they're missing from mine. Um, but we've even got a little prison cell in the leg. And um, we go around here and we've got like the bits that the cars can drive into, or you imagine they can. We've got a little crank that doesn't do anything, of course. Um, we've even got a little little ramp here, which is really thin. Eek! But there's a ladder there. All the things you associate with Fort Max. It's even got these um, pad things. Do actually, you can't really see, but they do actually slide um, forwards and backwards. And it's even got in the top here um, the Fort Max headmaster port even though the headmaster doesn't actually plug in. Um, here's, here's his head, um, but it doesn't seem, it doesn't transform or anything, so uh, it doesn't seem to fit in anywhere. Um, but I think you'd normally, like you'd fold that head down, wouldn't you, and you put it in, but I, I don't know. You could maybe just balance it in like that or something. I don't know. I'm trying to find a good way to, yeah. Because it's a solid piece of plastic, it doesn't actually go in or or do anything and that's hollow so that's ugly so i guess the best you could do is kind of rest it there maybe um i'm a bit worried about these arm cannon mounts i'm going to um and as you can see the second you touch it <laughs> it just falls to bits um it's all friction mounted on extremely small pegs the plastic is is thin as hell um it, it's it's a mess but but it's got all the bits, all the things you, you can need. You've got some nice detail going up the ramps here, all moulded in. There's moulded in details here on the um, Cerebros port here. 
that does fold. I mean, you can get rid of the head completely off to one side and then close this up. And there's even a little bit of tech detail on there. So I think we can just close that up and that just closes up like that. Um, but it's got little mounting points here. It's got little um, ramp opening bits here. Let's get the blade out because it's, like I say, it's thin plastic there's no, and it's tiny. So you can't really get your fingernails in. Although I don't have any fingernails because, you know, I bite them because I'm a naughty, naughty, naughty moobit. But it's got all the four maxi kind of details you want. And for me, I'm going to be leaving it in base mode on the, on the desk because I always wanted a Fort Max. I could never afford, you know, I came from a, from a working class family. So, you know, toys that are that expensive were just not a thing for us. Um, and nowadays, now I'm trying to start a production company with Nick Hardy that you guys know, Reflector. Um, we need the money for cameras and other such shit. So, <laughs> so this is the best we're going to get. Uh, for size comparisons, my friends, here he is with GM19 hide. Give you an idea. Here he is with, I think it's Darker the Moon Drift, just to give you an idea. There we go. So it's about the length of a deluxe car. Here he is with Siege Laserbeak and Rumble Slash Ravage. Because they are precious! As you can see, they're about the same size as, in scale, the MicroMasters as a leader class on the normal Fort Max. So, there's not really much you can do in terms of play factor. I don't think there's any really, really tiny ones knocking about. Um, there may be. Let me know in the comments if there's any really, really tiny things that might fit on this. Even, you know, obviously non-transforming. See what I mean? I touched it! I dared to touch it! Ugh. I guess, you know, if you were going to have this and want to play with it, you'd just super glue all these bits and then it wouldn't, it wouldn't move, but it wouldn't fall off and fall to bits, but hey. And of course, here he is with the latest Soundwave because he is also precious. So he's, it, the tower is up to his crotch, basically. But that is the review of the huge, extremely robot tool from China knocked off about 15 times and it's disintegrating as i speak but it's it's you know what if you can get it for the same price i got one pound 50 and you don't mind waiting whatever it was seven months um <laughs> yeah it's all right i mean it's got rolly wheels it's got it's got little guns it's got it's got a it's got a headmaster that doesn't kind of master and you also oh just to let you know i did actually go ahead and drill a hole and file it, file it down a little bit so that the ramp will close. So you will have to do some modifications on it. Um, but you know, if you want to do it as like a little desk spot and maybe take the really shitey stickers off and uh, paint it up and things, yeah, it's all right. At the moment, it's going for seven pounds. What should I, should you buy this for seven pounds? Hell no! I mean, right, watch this. What? Look, look, look. Oh, 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 no, no, I'm not even, I'm not even putting any pressure. That one stays on, actually. But that one, it's just, no, that's, that feels like it's going to shatter the second I sneeze on it. Um, it's, no, it's not worth seven pounds. It's not. But if you can get it for less than a fiver, uh, including postage, eh, maybe, I suppose. But with that, I'll leave you. Uh, look out for myself, Nick Hardy, and Dean Stead's uh, podcast coming up over on YouTube and, and Facebook slash Team Reflector, our 10 bots, 10 hot shots podcast. Um, going to be in seven parts, and then the whole thing's going to be released as a podcast, as a one hour long podcast in the coming days. Uh, links are in the description below if you're watching this in the future. Hopefully, we're all still alive in the future, the way 2020 is going. But we'll not talk about that, because this is supposed to be a bit of fun. Until next time, I have been Moobit, you have been Awesome Source, and I'll see you at the next video. Ta-ra! Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Wash your f***ing hands! I like to move it, move it, fit, fit, fit.